Hi, we're excited to have you with us tonight for this very special and hopefully record-breaking event here on the Weather Channel. And of course, a great big hello to all the kids watching on Nickelodeon. Today, with the help of schools from all around the country, the Weather Channel is attempting to break the Guinness World Record for the world's largest interactive weather report. At midday, kids in Australian schools recorded the temperature in their playground and then sent their weather readings to us via our website at weatherchannel.com.au. To have a chance of breaking the record, we need to have more weather contributions in tonight's big report than the current world record holder. In just a few minutes, we'll find out if we're in the running when Ken Heatley presents the big report from the studio. So all our fingers are crossed here at the channel. To help us today, we're joined by Chris Sheedy, the official adjudicator from the Guinness World Records. Thank you for joining us today, Chris. Great to be here, Lee. Now, can you tell us first of all, who is the current world record holder? Yeah, it's a pretty big one. It's BBC Television in the UK. They actually organised 261 schools across the UK to submit the temperatures all at the same time. So the current record stands at 261. All right, well, we can't wait to find out if we've beaten that. What requirements do we have to meet to actually break the record? Well, you've got to beat that 261, which means essentially that 261 locations across Australia, or actually more than 261 locations, need to take the temperature, uh, put them into the system, and then they must be reported through the Weather Channel this evening. Uh, if that happens, then we have a new record. All right, well, I can't wait to find out. Look, thank you so much for joining us today, Chris, and I'm sure we'll have the answer in just a couple of minutes' time. Now, we've had an amazing response to our world record attempt. We've had schools from north, south, east and west getting involved, and this means that every kind of climate Australia has will be represented in the results. So our report should reflect the temperature extremes of our country as well. On registration, schools were asked to tell us why they deserved a visit from the Weather Channel. Our favourite response was from Stanwell State School in Queensland. And the Weather Channel crew, along with our senior meteorologist Dick Whitaker, dropped in on them today. Let's see how they went. Hello, Stanwell State School. Are you ready to take today's temperature? Yeah! Remember, when you're taking the temperature reading, you've always got to do it in the shade. Because if you do it in the sun, it'll be much higher than it really should be. Another thing to remember is to keep your fingers away from the bulb in the thermometer. If you actually touch the thermometer then, it'll actually give you another very, very high figure. And this is it, it's 12 noon. The official temperature at Stanwell Public School is... 25 degrees! Well, it looked like a lot of fun today at Stanwell State School. I hope everyone who was involved also enjoyed being a weather observer for the day. Now, we've also been lucky enough to get some action shots from other schools that helped us with the big report, all the way from Armadale in New South Wales. We've also had from Hulston Agricultural High School in Glenfield. They've got a farm at the school there. And, of course, fantastic photo there from St John's School at Silkwood. Now, we've had a great time here at the Weather Channel putting together all the results but have we broken the world record for the biggest interactive weather report? Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just 30 seconds time to find out. Welcome back to the Weather Channel. If you have just tuned in, we are attempting to break the Guinness world record for the largest interactive weather report. All the temperatures in our report were recorded by different schools around the country today at midday. If we have more than 261 temperature contributions, we will be the new world record holders. So let's find out now with Ken Heatley. Ken, this is very exciting stuff. You've got a big job. How are you feeling? Hi, Lee. Hi, kids. You know, I'm so excited, but I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulders right now. Well, look, Ken, you've definitely got the weight of a world record on your shoulders. Why don't you take it away? OK, here we go. The big report as we zoom into Queensland. Now, these are all the temperatures that recorded by students right around the nation at midday today. And we'll start out with the Badu Island, the campus of uh, Tagai State School, which is the most northern school to contribute today. And there are just seven students at Mount Fox State School and they have a weather station and solar panels as well. How cool is that? Look at all these temperatures that were sent into us through Queensland, especially through the southeast as well. Temperatures ranging between 22, 25 degrees. Thanks so much for that as we head a bit further south to the Gold Coast. Uh, temperatures a little bit all over the place, but it was a warm day uh, through Queensland with temperatures well above the average. As we move down into New South Wales, Lithgow High School,
School and Lithgow Public School. Hello, both helping us today. There are a couple of few schools in Australia above 900 metres. Surely they would see some strong winds throughout the year. We also have been seeing a lot of sunshine across Sydney, but there was a bit of cloud about today and that naturally drops the temperatures a little bit. Hi to the 23 kids at Cowper Public School and to the 15 kids at Trunky Public School as well and to the Hurlston Agricultural High School in Glenfield. They are lucky enough to have a farm at their school. How cool is that? Imagine hanging out with the chickens at recess. So as we head further south, we get into these cool temperatures, especially in places like Jindabyne, which recorded a temperature of just three degrees and into Victoria. Uh, students at the Fountain Gate Primary School at Narray Warren in Victoria represents over 55 nationalities. So here's all of Melbourne. It was very windy today. I hope you don't, didn't get blown away by the strong winds that we have been seeing across the state. And that's the case for Tasmania as well. Lindisfarne Primary School recorded a temperature of just seven degrees. Can you see it there towards the south and also in South Australia? into the Adelaide region. We did see temperatures above the average today because of northerly winds and thanks to everyone at the Cooper Pedy Area School for your temperature. As we head across into Western Australia, now not too many through the interiors uh, sections, but also in uh, Western Australia, you can see Perth through the Southwest Land Division. It was very cool today. Temperatures running around three degrees of what we'd normally see uh, around this time of year. They were below the average and a big shout out to the Wongan Hills District High School, which is low located in the wheat belt of Western Australia. And you know what, really remote areas uh, got involved too. Uh, to the schools with only about one teacher sent us in uh, their contributions and at the centre of the country, Alice Springs, the Araluan Christian College experiences big extremes in the temperatures. It was warm there today and 34 degrees to round it out at Timber Creek. So Lee, they do say that records are meant to be broken. Well, that was certainly a very big report, Ken. But the big question, what's the magic number? Well, I can tell you the official number, Lee. How exciting is this? 502. Wow. OK, Chris, now all that remains is for you to tell us, have we actually made it? 502 schools contributed data? That's right, Lee. The numbers are in. I've checked through them. And I'm very, very sorry to say that if you do work for BBC TV, your record's just been smashed because the Weather Channel I've just earned a new Guinness World Record with 502 schools. Oh, that is incredible stuff. Congratulations. Now, of course, a big thank you also to schools right across the nation who've taken part in this. So fantastic stuff. Look, Chris, that's just brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us today as well. So a big thank you to all the schools for taking the time to take part. And, of course, our generous sponsors, New Energy, who've been installing solar in Australian homes since 1985. Now, now, if you'd like to see a list of all the schools who were involved in today's big report, just head straight to our website, weatherchannel.com.au.